the rest of these verses, this is where Paul goes. When we suppress the truth, we enter a free fall. So there are reasons, even though it's obvious that there is a creator and that he's good and we can know some stuff about him and probably that there's stuff he wants us to do and follow him. Every human being has a conscience. That's a remarkable fact. A voice in your head telling you what's right and wrong, telling you what to do even when you don't want to do that. Hmm, I wonder if there's a God. But sometimes we don't want there to be a God. Why? Because if there is a God, that imposes limits on me. If there is a God, then I'm not God. If there is a God, then can I just do anything that I want? No, obviously not. Not if I'm not the one who made everything. I don't fully own my body if I didn't make it, right? Then there are limits on what I can do if there's a God. And so... All of us, at many points in our lives, even if we're Christians, deep down we in some ways don't want it to be true that there's a God because we want to do our own thing. See what Paul says next. 